Hello and welcome to MMI. In this series of tutorial videos we'd like to show you the basics of the MMI cell cut and how to get good results for further research. The MMI cell cut is our laser micro dissection system designed to cut tissues, large regions of interest or single cells and even living cells for further processing. With its high pulse UV laser for precise cutting and the patented CapLift technology for reliable tissue and cell isolation, it will help you with all your laser micro dissection needs. In this video we will show you how to set up the MMI cell cut. This procedure will help you run your experiment smoothly and it will allow you to obtain reproducible results. The first thing we need to do is the stage origin calibration. This way you are sure that your software always knows where the exact position of your stage is. Therefore we select setup and click on calibrate stage origin. The software will now tell us what it will do. We click OK and you will see that the stage starts moving to its outer boundaries so that the software can recognize where the outer boundaries are. This feature is also very useful whenever you have the feeling that the position on the stage does not match the position in the software. Just repeat this step. The next step is to check the camera settings. Therefore we click on the camera icon in the top bar and then we can change all the settings for a camera like exposure time, automatic exposure time, correct shading method or white balance. The next step is to do an alignment of the camera with the stage. Therefore we select setup and click on align camera with stage. The system will now automatically make a camera stage alignment. Once done it will show us the results. The inclination and magnification is good, so we click on accept. Then we switch to another magnification, in this time 4 times. We control the camera settings by clicking on the camera icon again. And then we repeat the step. If your inclination is bigger than plus minus 0.3 degrees, your camera needs to be manually readjusted. Therefore you need a key and turn the camera around until the inclination is below 0.3 degree. In this case everything's fine so we can go on with the next step. Menu and hit the start scan button. Now the system will automatically scan our slides. This is done best in a low magnification like with the 4 times objective, otherwise it might take too long. Next we have to set the power focal lens offset. Therefore we go to the highest magnification and get into the focus plane again. This can be done either with the slider or with your mouse wheel. After we found the focus plane we click setup and power focal lens offset. Then we switch to the next lower magnification. Get into focus again. And again click on setup, par focal lens offset. We repeat these steps for all of our objectives from the highest magnification to the lowest.
The last step will be setting the paraxial lens offset. For this we go to the 40 times objective, find the right focus plane and look for an object that can be easily distinguished from other objects. In this case we prepared these four rectangles we previously cut from the membrane to make this more visible for you. We click on setup and click paraxial lens offset. The window tells us what to do. We have to create a test shape around the characteristic object, in this case our four rectangles. So with the freehand tool we draw a line around the rectangles and as you can see we leave these little edges to make it easier to distinguish the shapes afterwards in lower magnification. It doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be good enough so you can distinguish the edges afterwards. Then we switch to the next lower magnification, which in this case is the 20 times objective. Our shape is shown again and we have to move it to match to our objects. Then we click on yes to move to the next objective, which in this case is the 10 times magnification objective. Here you can see the reason for the pre-axial lens offset calibration. It ensures that with every magnification the shape will stay on the same place. Once we've reached the last objective, we move the shape once more. And then click No. After this, as an additional step, we can also prove if the paraxial lens offset calibration was done correctly. We go back to the 40 times objective and draw a rectangular shape on some of our previously cut rectangles. If we now switch objective again, the rectangles should match with the shapes we just drawn. If this is the case, our paraxial lens offset calibration was done correctly. The system is now prepared and completely calibrated. We hope this video helped you with working with the MMI cell cut. Feel free to visit our other videos for more information about MMI instruments and handling.